Hi, thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Phil Hunter, the pastor at Citrus Grove Lutheran Church. Uh, I'm going to read to you from the Bible in Luke chapter 12, the section that we're focusing on this weekend. Uh, I'm away, so it'll be uh, Pastor Preby from Bay Pines, who's going to be there with us uh, in, in person. I hope you're able to join us next week, Pinecrest at 9.30 a.m., um, so that we can worship together in person. Get uh, in a habit of gathering together with other Christians, being built up in what God teaches us in his word, um, fed from him and, and refreshed from him. And as we're healthier inside, it's going to bear fruit on the outside as well in our life. That's God's promise. So I'm going to read to you from Luke chapter 12. Uh, it's a, a grab bag of encouragements, uh, warnings, cautions, teachings from Jesus. You could group them all around the theme of reasons. You don't have to be afraid um, from God not being, uh, you're not being able to sneak anything past God. So people who think they're getting away with something, you can rest easy, but they're not. God sees everything and he's, he's going to take care of everything in its right time. You don't have to fret and worry that um, God's being made a fool of. You just don't. But you yourself should watch, watch out that, that you don't try making a fool out of God either. Um, another reason not to fear is that God just takes care of everything and everybody. He's got total control um, and total knowledge of everything about you and everything in your body, in your world, in your life. Nothing happens to you, Christian, without God knowing and he's always able to twist it and turn it, even the things that seem bad on the surface. He's always able to turn them so that they, they work out well. And uh, the best thing that he can do is work something out so that you're even closer to him. And you're walking with him, not just through this world, but forever uh, in, in your eternal life. And then also God's promise that um, the little things that you do to, to mention Jesus to your friend, to speak about your faith and your, your Christianity, that doesn't go unnoticed by him either. In fact, he, he points it out and he commands you and he praises you, acknowledging you, something we totally don't deserve, but he loves when you acknowledge him. So I'm going to read to you um, these first 12 verses of Luke chapter 12 and enjoy these reasons not to be afraid. Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousands had gathered, so that they were trampling on one another, Jesus began to speak first to his own disciples, saying, Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, nothing hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the rooftops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after the killing of the body, has the power to throw you in hell. Yes, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid, you're worth more than many sparrows. I tell you, whoever acknowledges me before man, the Son of Man will also acknowledge him before the angels of God. But he who disowns me before men will be disowned before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When you are brought before synagogues, rulers, and authorities, do not worry about how you will defend yourselves or what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what you should say. The word of the Lord. Let's pray. We praise you, Lord, for encouraging us and calming us and comforting us with your promises. Uh, we especially thank you for keeping an eye on us, uh, keeping your hand under us and sustaining us through all the, the challenge of, challenges of this world. Keep hypocrisy far from us, worry and nervousness, and um, allow us to be your faithful witnesses in any moment. And as we acknowledge you, uh, give us joy, 
and help us to do so clearly and boldly and confidently, knowing there's nothing better we can do for another person than introduce him or her to you. Hear us now as we pray the petitions of the prayer which you taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Till next time, take care. Jesus bless you.